Hello everyone and welcome to another video review from 3DGamingMan.com. I'm Rodney Reynolds and today I'm having a look at the Cooler Master Sentinel-3 gaming mouse. Now this thing looks pretty spectacular. It's a good size, also comes with a great sensor. You can do 16.8 million colors. It has a weight system and software. Let's have a look. The box looks pretty and it's informative with lots of pictures as well as features and specifications. And look at this. If you're picking it up in store, you can get a feel for it. It's packaged well but is easy to to open, they include a user's manual, and in this, they have more information about the product as well, detailing the two-year warranty. And the mouse itself is sandwiched between two pieces of plastic. And note the protective plastic on the shiny bits. Now, as you can see, this mouse has a palm grip. I'll go over that and the dimensions as well as the weight a little later on. First, let's go through the features and specifications. Now, it does have a decent sensor. It is the Abago 3988 optical sensor. You can do a DPI up to 6,400. The tracking speed is 200 IPS. And by the way, the mouse acceleration is 50 Gs. The polling rate is 1,000 Hertz. And you can do angle snapping with this. It comes with 16.8 million colors. You can use the software to adjust all of that. As well, onboard memory is 512 kilobytes. Now it has eight buttons and comes with a USB 2 cable. It is a braided cable. I know some people don't like braided cables. You know, they sometimes can hook up and they're not as pliable and bendable as rubber cables, but this is a decent cable. Also, it connects quite well into the mouse, so you don't have to worry about it being ripped away. And note the Velcro tie that they have here on the mouse to organize the cable. And the end here is gold plated. This mouse measures in at 135 by 83.6 by 40 millimeters, and the weight will vary because it does have a weight system, and that's excellent because some people like the mouse to be really heavy and weighted. Others like it lightweight. So you have that option. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this mouse has a palm grip. Some people like it. Some people don't. I have to say that it is very comfortable to hold. I have medium-sized hands, and it does fit my hand perfectly. Now, as you can see, there is some glossy parts at the top here of the mouse. This might get, you know, a little greasy and a little dusty after a while, but you can wipe it down. It's not like the whole top of the mouse is glossy. The rest of it has this kind of matte finish. No grips on either side of this mouse, but it still works really well. Now, there are eight fully programmable buttons. You have two on the left, the standard left click and right click buttons. Two more here, another button right here. Scroll wheel doubles as a button. And the scroll wheel, by the way, has rubber on it for great grip. At the bottom, there's slippery feet. And of course, this will allow the mouse to glide over any decent mouse surface with ease. That excellent optical sensor and the weight system, which is tucked away in here. To remove this panel, just pull at the back like so. And as you can see, there are five 4.5 gram weights. Now, the lighting system is quite nice. You can see it here at the top as well as at the front. And remember, you can do 16.8 million colors, so lots of options. This is the profile button. Press this to switch between the different profiles. Also, press these buttons to switch between the different DPI levels. Now, you can really customize this mouse with the software within main control. You've got key assignments, of course. This is where you would assign pretty much anything to any of these buttons. The Storm TX button, that's this one here, so that kind of doubles up everything. You know, if you press this and that button and you assign that button to something, then you actually get more buttons, don't you, from the mouse. As well, the LEDs. Now, you can change the LEDs on the top as well as on the front too. Pretty much anything that you want here, 16.8 million colors. You can have a static, turn them off, spectrum, rapid fire, and breathing. You can even have your own logo or image. It's a 32 by 32 BMP. So you go, go ahead here and you can load that. That's really neat, especially if you have a team, you can all have the same logo. The sensor here, different DPI adjustments, angle snapping, lift off distance, angle tuning, surface calibration, 
within the OS sensitivity. You've got a number of things here that you can change as well, like the polling rate, the OS sensitivity, the double click speed, as well as the button response time. And you can lock these or have them unlocked. Of course, you can do macros with this. And here's the library for the different profiles and support. Now at the bottom, you also have the different profiles which you can click on very easily. Now with this mouse, you're getting a lot of features for the price. This is a very affordable mouse considering all it offers. It looks great, very comfortable to hold. The lighting system is customizable and looks awesome. It is very comfortable to hold, comes with a really good optical sensor, and it even has a weight system. And of course, the software allows you to customize it. Overall, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.